I might be the first person on YouTube reviewing this. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone else do it, but that doesn't mean for certain it doesn't exist, but I haven't been able to find one if anyone has. So anyway, this is for the EOS Crystal Liquid. Yeah, that's a thing. If you were unaware, that is very much a thing. Um, I'm sure all you guys have seen the solid ones that are in the like almost pyramid type spheres i don't even know that that's the right word there but like the wax is clear and you can see through it and that's why everyone was losing their shit over them and well this one's liquid <laughs> and for how unimpressed i was by the solid ones for how dry they felt and how much it felt like they did nothing again this is liquid so i'm hopeful that this might actually like work <laughs> so anyway let us just take this all in. Initially I thought it was a stick when I first saw it on Instagram, but no. No, 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 no. It is a liquid li with a little brush in there and you turn it up to make it, make the product come up or something. I don't know, but it's wax-free, seven nourishing natural oils. Not much product in it at all. Oh my god, there's like even less than in a soft lip skinny stick. 0.06 ounces. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I paid like $5 for it, but I'm not sure if that was the store price because I had one of my friends buy it for me and I paid her to send it to me. I don't know. Um, you know, if she could chime in and let me know if that's what it actually cost or what, that'd be great. But yeah, so on the back, we have weightless hydration for soft healthy looking lips, a wax-free liquid lip balm with seven nourishing oils and cocoa butter to soften your lips so their natural beauty shines through. Directions, twist the base, swipe on, smile. Several clicks needed uh, needed the first time for product to appear. After that, just a few will do. So basically, same idea as the under eye thing that I've got that obviously I'm not wearing today and usually don't wear because it's expensive and I don't want to waste it if I don't have to use it. But um, yeah, that thing you have to twist it to make the product come out into the little sponge in the top. I feel like this is going to be the same sort of thing, except it's a brush instead of a sponge. So, okay, on the side here, we have cocoa, shea, avocado, and other natural oils. 100% um, wax-free, perfectly weightless hydration, soft brush. Well, good, I'd hate if it were a hard brush. Um, a vegan, hypoallergenic, paraben and petrolatum free and not tested on animals. So, um, our ingredients are castor seed oil, capril oil, glycerin, sebaceic acid co copolymer, shea oil, cocoa seed butter, bisdiglycerol, polyacyl adipate 2, your guess is as good as mine, silica dimethyl silylate, silylate, I don't know. Sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, olive fruit oil, avocado oil, and flavor slash aroma. Well, it looks like it's mostly natural, but there's a couple things there where I'm like, it's not 100%, but it is, it's mostly. Alright, so there's that. Now to get it open. Okay. By the way, I am in love with this, like, periwinkle lavender type color that it is. I think it's really pretty. Now, for as little product as in there, I'm actually surprised by how heavy this is. Th this... Like, these weigh almost the same thing. That's very odd to me. <laughs> huh, place your bets. Which end's gonna have the brush? I say this end, because it's shorter. Or not! Oh, oh, shit. Okay, maybe not. I was wrong. I I'm glad I didn't mess with that too much. So, here's our little brushy brush. It's cute and white. Ooh, it really is soft. Wow. I'm actually surprised at just how soft that is. It's like a paintbrush. That's gonna be like, ooh. I don't even have product on yet. I'm just like playing with the brush. That feels nice. Okay, so without any product on it, I can't even smell anything yet. Like, it's literally scentless so far cap goes on well. I don't think we have to worry about wiggly turn wheel here because it has to click. But yeah, so um, it's got a bunch of little pluses on this end of it, on the cap, which I guess is why on the EOS website they listed it as Crystal Plus. 
It literally says plus nowhere on this, but on their website they call it Crystal Plus, so I don't freaking know. Maybe they agree that this format's better. I don't know. But yeah, um, I don't think it's limited edition. It's just not a lot of people have happened to find it yet, so I think my friend found it at Walmart. If Was it Walmart? Yeah, I think she said it was Walmart that she found it at. Um, but yeah. So, there's no shelf life listed at all. Nope. I'm looking to just see like if they like stamped on it and no, there really isn't. So, <sighs> since it's a liquid, my guess it's going to be the same rule that applies to lip glosses. You get one year. That is what you get. And that is when it is no longer sanitary to use. Whether or not you adhere to that rule, that's up to you. But generally, it's a bad idea after a year. But anyway, um, so sturdiness-wise, I'm actually surprised that it feels as sturdy as it does. I thought it was going to feel really cheap for some reason. Maybe because the crystal solids did. But um, anyway, no SPF for medication. So let's go ahead and try this out. Hello? I'm going to like... Anything? Maybe I should... <laughs> this might be a terrible idea, but... I'm watching closely for any signs of liquid. Or swelling of the brush. Anything. Any little sign. Anything would be... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, there it is! There it is! Okay. Somebody described the scent as burnt cookies, so I'm very curious if that's actually true. So it's all beaded up on here. I was gonna make um, an interesting comparison, but then I remembered young kids watch this channel, so I won't. But, um, yeah, ten points to anyone who knows exactly where my mind went with that, but, um, I honestly don't smell much of anything. Maybe once I put it on. I'm so used to sticks. This feels foreign to me, guys. But traditionally, back in the day, this was exactly how you applied most makeup, so it's with a brush. And that applied to, like, everything. Ooh! Ooh, it has good flavor, though. Let's try the other side. There we go. Kind of hopping down the back side, but um, it was very vanilla y. I don't think it smells like burnt cookies per se. I would agree with burnt sugar though. Like, if you've ever made cotton candy, like you ever worked a cotton candy booth at a fall festival or anything, or had like a mini cotton candy machine, you know exactly the scent I'm talking about with burnt sugar. Don't lie. You know you know it. This is exactly what it smells like. Oh my gosh. It's not like disgusting or anything, but I feel like that is actually a very accurate description of this scent. But, um, oh, wait. It doesn't have a flavor. I guess that was just how much I was smelling the scent. My brain was convinced there was flavor there. No, there's not. But it does feel a lot more moisturizing being a liquid than the solid ones that feel like you put on literally nothing. I'm just still not at all in love with the solid ones. I think they look cool. They're worth having because they look cool. But, uh, just saying they don't feel like they do diddly squat, so... But this one, so far, I feel like I like it more than them. Actually, the scent of this one is very similar to the vanilla one of those. It's not identical, but it's similar. Yeah, it doesn't even list what the flavor is supposed to be on this. So just in case y'all were wondering, that's what it smells like. Unfortunately, it's sticky, as you can tell, because my hair keeps friggin' sticking in it. But being a liquid... Kinda had the feeling that would happen, because basically every lip gloss ever does that. It's rare to find one that doesn't. However, with it on your lips, it doesn't feel like it's tacky, but, you know, 
my hair tells another story because it's gotten caught in it several times now and it's gross. And my hair is freshly washed, so I'm a little bit peeved at that. But yeah, um, whatever. So consistency-wise, thickness-wise, it's kind of medium thickness for a liquid. I've felt thicker, but this is not as bad as that. It's not as thick as, say, the liquid lip smackers or anything. So, if you like the idea of those but wish they were a little bit thinner, this is kind of what this thickness is. That's the best thing I can compare it to. But, um, it is really smooth, though. I will give it that. And it's very unique that it uses a brush instead of a little doe foot applicator or anything to apply it. So I kind of like that. Um, and that way it also doesn't waste product that gets all caked up on the wand, because there's no wand here. <laughs> so, um, obviously it's very shiny. You know, I love me some shiny lip products. Uh, but yeah, let me think. I'm gonna do the drink test. So I was trying to think if there was anything else I needed to evaluate, and then I was like, no, just the drink test. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I don't see it passing, but let us try. I stand corrected. It stayed on somehow. This is kind of like defying logic, but it stayed on. It doesn't look quite as glossy as before, so it may have thinned some, but you can tell it's very much still there. Huh. Well then, what would I rate this little guy? I think it is awfully overpriced for what it is. Just like I do with the solid ones, they're also too much. But this, especially for how little is in there, that's a freaking joke if you ask me. Um, so there's a strike. And another strike for how little is in there. So that's two. Um, what else? What else? The fact that it's so nondescript, with its scent to where they don't even list it, as well as they don't even come up with a solid name. The website says one thing, the packaging says another, it's all the same company, you'd think they'd be able to come to an agreement on what it is, yet there's all this confusion just floating around about this. There's another strike. Uh, other than that... Hmm. Does it feel seven worthy? I don't know. Maybe. I don't feel like it's bad enough to deem a six or even a six point five. I you know, I'm maybe I'm just in a good mood. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to give it that 7. On the caveat that I think it's horribly overpriced, and if you can find a coupon for it, or find it on sale, then grab it. Don't play full price for it, because that's basically just telling us it is okay to price your things this way, because people are going to buy them anyway. If we vote with our dollars and wait till they either go on sale or we can get coupons, that sends a message to them that we're tired of overpaying because this is one of the things with the big brands like that when everybody just blindly buys them at any price that tells them it's okay and then next thing you know all their products are priced that way we saw this with the shimmers first they were the first ones that were in the five dollar range and then there was the crystals and there was what else was there um i feel like there was couple other EOS products that were also in the $5 range. Yeah, they're getting a little too comfy pricing things that way, guys. And we're allowing them to do it. We suck. I know. But, um... So that would be one way of helping to thwart that. Just saying. 
Do I think anybody's gonna actually take my advice? Hell no. Will I take my own advice? Probably not. But just, it is a problem. I will be the first one to agree with you there. But at the same time, we're not doing much of anything to help that problem. But just saying to the higher ups that be in case they happen to see this yeah you, you should really reconsider your pricing and bring it down even just a little bit just a little down to like what you sell your normal eos products for even if it's four dollars instead of five that would help that would help a lot we would feel a lot better at four rather than five but don't well, listen to me nobody listens to me so anyway that's about all I have to say for this one, so um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. If anybody else found this one yet, I know I've seen Instagram pictures, but I've not seen anyone else on YouTube with it yet, so prove me wrong. If you have it, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I feel like the fairy godmother in Cinderella. It's like my magic wand. I don't know, but uh, maybe it's the collar too, but... Anywho, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. And, you know, if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, feel free to kick a few dollars my way. The donation link, as always, is in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye.